Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We're returning the school bus into a tiny house. And right now we got countertops going in. I'll show you what they look like in the truck over here. Bam, look at that sexiness. Those look awesome. What do you think, Nova? Fancy countertops? Dang, dude, look at that. Looks really good, look at that. Not bad. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. What do you think? Is it really cool? All right, we gotta go get the cooktop. Be right back. Crumb catcher though, huh? Yeah, you release your worries. <laughs> Bye, man. So you guys saw that we just got beautiful quartz counters installed. The reason that we went with this huge, heavy, expensive luxury is because we have a friend who is a granite installer who gave us an incredible deal that we could not pass up. He did an awesome job. He wanted me to let you guys know that granite and marble in a bus, in his opinion, probably be way more prone to cracking than this thick quartz. Whether you do any kind of stone, you know, you're proceeding at your own risk. We haven't had this on the road yet. We haven't put 30,000 miles on this thing, so... I don't know. We're gonna put up a bar to hang utensils from. We're gonna put up a magnetic knife rack. And we're gonna put up an AC-powered, super fancy light from Urban Electric Co. that our good friends Katie and Sam gave to us. So that's what's coming up next. Oh yeah, super important, drawer poles, because all my tools are in there and I can't even get these drawers open without like using my feet and stuff. Stay tuned. More kitchen. So we're gonna start out with something nice and easy. How about a clock? Does that look level? No. No? How about a magnetic knife rack bar? Bar. Yeah, yeah. Where you at? Dada. 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 Where you at? Now we got a knife rack. I only hit the fridge a little bit, so that's good. Yeah? Don't touch it. Leave it there. Uh oh. Put it back. Oh, put it back. Come on. Uh oh. Wow, now that is pretty fancy. Okay, so as you can see, we have fully moved into the kitchen, <laughs> if only aesthetically. Here, here's a little teaser for you, even though we made that sweet little montage. 
Look, not connected. Not con not connected. No drain. We're not ready to live in here, but it looks like it, and that feels good, doesn't it, babe? Yeah. So that was fun. That was worth it. Okay. Now, kitchen door handles, drawer handles. Extremely tedious, not fun. I got one laid out, and I'm gonna attach it, show it to you, and then we'll lay out the next one together. All right, so I got one of these in. Super nerve wracking. If you mess this up, it's like the face of your drawer is ruined. I think this went okay. A smart carpenter would make a jig for all of these, then totally nail it, but I'm an impatient carpenter. So I'm gonna continue with layout and screw these in. Looks good, right? No <laughs> No What are you saying? Nova. Can I pencil it? No. You possibly pick it up and you pick it up. Possibly. So where'd you put it? Pockets in your ears. Uh oh, is your foot stuck? Babe, can you get her foot? It's stuck. Oh, sharp. Ouchie, ouchie. I think her shoe just came off. So I'm on my last two uh, drawer pulls. They take forever because you really want to like take your time and not mess them up because you only got one shot. What I do is I figure out the midpoint of each piece, which is seven and a half. Mark it. Each time I have a different drawer size, I've held this up and then figured out exactly the distance to make it equal. In, which, in this case, it's five and three quarters. So I got five and three quarters. Now I take this little ancient punch thing that I found in this house when we moved here and I put it in there to make sure that my drill bit doesn't wander. I drill this hole. If you drill this hole all the way through, it'll like tear out the back. So I put a piece of plywood back there. That helps with the tear out. Now I take one of my screws. This whole time I've had one drill battery. I still only have one drill battery. Now what I do here is I measure down seven and a half again. Bring this back up here. And then I look, I just look at the midpoint because is working for me. Do my little punch thing. Swap my batteries. <laughs> Put my plywood in. All right, to be completely honest, I'm not using the plywood. I don't care about the tear out. Let's just get this done. Now, clean off my pencil line and swap my drill battery. Man, it's a hard life. Hard life with only one drill battery. And my screw. And then I finish it off with the screw, like so I hand tighten with the screwdriver because these screws are kind of fragile and I broke one. Bam. So there we have it. One more to do. One more to do. And there you go guys, we did some upgrades to the kitchen. Some of which were just for show. They make us happy to see. Next steps for the kitchen would be backsplash. We've gotta do an outlet there and an outlet there. We gotta wire that light. So plenty of little things to do in here, but we're getting pretty close. Oh yeah, and plumbing. Plumbing would be the big thing. This is Nate and Justin. Nate just got here, by the way. What were you doing all day? Sleeping. <laughs> Signing off. Like and subscribe. Headbutt the like button. <laughs> cringe. Yeah. Okay, type cringe in the comments if you didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs>